Good morning, Dr. Lyon. I'm so excited that we can finally sit down and talk with you about your practice, what you're developing. Can you start us off with getting to know you as a primary founder and director of Obesity Medicine and Diabetes Institute? I've been a physician for coming up about 35 years, wow. and I went into medicine in the first place because I really wanted to, to help people, you'd say, kind of get their life back, where um, they have struggles with addictions, obesity, problems like that, yeah. and um, the struggles I've had in my own life, and uh, and some of the triumphs I've experienced by uh, really developing a, a new way of life mm -hmm. over time, and um, so I really, I guess I have a passion and a personal interest in in really helping people turn their life around, and perhaps because of my own. Um, experience I've um, come to believe that obesity is not a simple problem and it's not solved by just a diet alone it's of course one of the solutions is to develop a healthy diet but diets as such I don't think are usually the solution so to some extent I I guess I bring some of my bias with me but I've also um, had a long-standing interest in the science behind obesity and diabetes and have been involved in research from you know fairly young age I got my first research grant when I was 18 years old to do cardiovascular research I did a study on the origins of atherosclerosis when I was 18 That's awesome. so I've been interested in this for a long time and um, when I decided to um, to develop a clinic I I didn't do this lightly for one thing I knew it was going to be um, not a short-term endeavor to help people with obesity, but it, it was going to be a lifelong endeavor because um, just helping people lose weight doesn't fix things. It might even set them up for, for failure because they've, pretty well all of the people we work with, they've dieted and, you know, numerous times in their life, done all kinds of different programs, spent a lot of money. So I wanted something that was, um, that was going to be there for their, their lifespan, hopefully. And uh, also I wanted to, um, I wanted to reflect the best evidence that we have available in this program and I so I kind of scoured the scientific literature for quite a few years and, and uh, traveled around, looked at clinics and programs around the world to try to see what's being done about obesity. One thing I can say for sure is you know you can help people lose weight with a variety of different approaches and then you can uh, you know pat yourself on the back and give a big applause but when you meet them three or four years later it can be quite disappointing. Um, so, you know, what I realized is that we've got to get into this problem a lot deeper than is often done. Obesity is not one problem. It's really a heterogeneous problem. It means that every person is an individual. And one of the things I've learned is you, you've got to really understand someone's story to understand where this problem's coming from, where it's come from. So can you take us inside your brain for a moment and really dive into the reward that you feel when you come into work? Does sure. it even feel like work to you? And when you're meeting with your team and you're getting ready to inspire them to meet patients and know sure. that you're about to walk into a room that you're gonna change someone's life and help them change for the better, what is so satisfactory and contagious about wanting to see your team and patients be set up for a win? One of the things that has occurred to me working with people with these, you know, serious weight problems and in our clinic, um, you know, we work with about 300 to 350 people every day here. We see 200 new patients every month, all referred by their doctor. And the average BMI is 45, which means essentially we work with people that are carrying two people around everywhere they go or more. And so one of the things I've learned is when you stop and you really listen to their story and you begin to evaluate the root causes of their obesity, I, I begin to put these people on a pedestal because I think, wow, you know, what you've been through and the challenges that you face today, you're living the full catastrophe right now. You know, you might have a family and a job and you're, you're holding it together. Man, you are my hero. My patients are my heroes just because they're survivors and they're, they're making life continue to happen. And when they come in and they're willing to do this as well, like they really are brave and they're, they're tough and they're people to think that they're somehow lazy or stupid or 
that they're just losers is so wrong. When you really hear someone's story, you can't help but have empathy because I often think if I was in their shoes, I'd be twice their size. And um, in the end, I hope what we provide is a model for, you know, for the world somehow. Um, you know, just release it to the world. It's not patented. See what we're doing. Try to do it the same way if you can and make it work wherever you That's can do awesome. it in the world. Can you give me more of the why this is up and running? It, it's, um, it, it's been really gratifying not to have to charge people and realizing that there are people that we're helping that otherwise would not get help at all. And then, you know, if nothing else, they would be very costly to our healthcare system. They would end up being um, people that would be taken care of in the healthcare system a lot until they died prematurely. And so if we can interrupt some of that, it's a really big deal for our healthcare system. I think it's, uh, you know, more than a humanitarian project. It's also very, very important to, to help provide sustainability of our healthcare system because obesity, which really ends up being diabetes in many cases and heart disease and osteoarthritis and serious mental health dilemmas, I think that ends up becoming extremely cost, costly for our healthcare system and in the future with the way we're seeing our young population struggling with weight, I think we're going to see healthcare costs rise exponentially because of weight related issues so you know I'm in this to try to uh, to make a difference in people's lives but also to carve out something that I think is part of a really sustainable future for healthcare. <laughs>